Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Vision for Education. Today, we are going to discuss about Processor in Computer Part 2. Before watching this video, please watch Fundamentals of Computers and Processor in Computer Part 1. The link is provided in the description box. Now, coming to our topic, today we are going to discuss about Intel Processor. Intel processor is exclusively designed by Intel. The latest and the most popular model includes Intel HyperThread technology that speed up the Intel processor speed. Now, coming to the different types of Intel processor, Intel 4004. It is a 4-bit central processing unit. The technological size used in Intel 4004 is 10 micro units. The transistors consist of 2300 transistors in Intel 4004. Coming to the clock rate, it is of 740 kilohertz. It could not handle interrupters. The first available microprocessor is from Intel. CPU in one chip contains CPU, ROM 4 kilobytes, RAM 640 bytes and a shift register 10 bits for input and output. It is mainly used in calculator. Now coming to the Intel 4004 architecture. This is a Intel 4004 architecture. It is connected to the Intel 4-bit data bus. The data bus is connected to the 4-bit Intel data bus bidirectionally. The data bus is processing the data from the time and controller, timing and controller. Timing and controller is we can reset the timing and controller of our architecture. The timing and controller consist of test, sequences and clock and it, uh, it test is used for testing, sequences is for sequencing the data and clock is consist of phase 1 and phase 2 portals. It consists of RAM controller where we can control RAM and ROM controller for CM-ROM. The data is processed to the instruction register. Instruction register processes the data to the instructions decoder and machine cycling de encoder. In instructions decoder and machine cycling encoder encodes and decodes the data and processes back to the Intel 4-bit data bus. Intel 4-bit data bus gives the data to the user. The data is registered from the Intel 4-bit through the register multiplexer. Register multiplexer is also known as scratch pad. The scratch pad consists of index register selectors. And this is connected to the stack register. Stack register or a stack multiplexer. Address stack is all of stack multiplexer. Stack multiplexer consists of programming counter. Programming counter is divided into three levels. That is level 1, level 2 and level 3. It is also known as stack pointers. This process the data to the time controlling. Time controlling processes data to the accumulator. Accumulator is used to perform all the arithmetic and logical operations and process the data to the temporary register. Temporary registers store the data and process it to the arithmetic and logical unit. Arithmetic and logical unit performs all the arithmetic and logical operations and it processes the data to the address uh, decimal address, uh, address decimal address address process the data by adjusting all the de uh, decimal points to the ALU. ALU passes the data or sends the data back to the flag flip-flops. Flag flip-flops send the sends the data to the 4-bit Intel data bus. 
4-bit Intel data bus processes the data to the data bus buffer. Data bus buffer consists of 4 bits that is from D0 to D3. Bidirectionally, we get the output from data bus. Now, we are going to discuss about Intel 8008. Its technological size is 10 micro units. Coming to the clock rate, it is of 800 kilo hazards. Its memory is of 16 kilobytes, consists of ROM and RAM. It could handle interrupters. It has 8 input portals and 24 output portals. No direct memory addressing is allowed, mainly used in calculators and industrial robots. The first Commercial available 8-bit CPU is Intel 8008 is a 8-bit CPU processor. Now coming to the architecture of Intel 8008 micro architecture. It consists of 8-bit data bus. It is from D0 to D7. It is of 8-bit data, uh, data bus. It is connected to the Intel data bus. Intel data bus and it is also connected to the left and right side of Intel data buses. Intel, uh, coming to the left side of Intel data bus, it has two registers that is register A of 8-bit and register B of 8-bit and it also consists of memory cycle and controller coders. It is connected to the register and arithmetic and logical controller. That it processes the data. 8-bit uh, data bus is connected to the instruction register. Instruction register is of 8-bit. It processes the data to the instructions decoder. Instructions decoder processes the data to the machine cycle controller and to the register input and arithmetic logic controller and to the memory input and output controller. Machine cycle controller processes the data by controlling all the machine cycles to the register and arithmetic controller unit and to the memory and input output controller. Machine cycle controller also passes the data to the state time generator. State time generator processes the data back to the register and arithmetic controller unit and it also processes the data to the memory input and output controller. It processes the data to the ready FFI and to the in, uh, interrupter FF. It is ready and interrupt. Ready is to get the state ready and interrupters interrupt the data. And it is a, a clock generator consists of three portals that is sync, phase one and phase two. It is connected to the memory input and output controller and to the arithmetic uh, register in uh, arithmetic and controller unit. State generator consists or connected to the state signals. It generates the signals from S1, S2 and S0. These arithmetic register controller unit process the data to the 8-bit parallel arithmetic unit and to the register B, register B 8-bit processor. It also processes data to the carry looker head of 8-bit. It, it processes the data back to the register A. Register A processes the data back to the 8-bit parallel arithmetic unit. Arithmetic unit processes the data to conditional flip-flops. Conditional flip-flops process the data back to the Intel data, Intel data bus. Intel data bus processes data back to the 8-bit data bus. 8-bit data bus processes the data to the SP address. SP address 
memory control unit process data to the sp address sp memory control unit also process data to the stacked pad address multiplexer it is address multiplexer is uh, processing the data to the address decoder address decoder consists of accumulator scratch pad memory of 7 bits and 8 bits accumulator processes all the accumulator uh, arithmetical and logical operations and process the data back to the memory multiplexer and refresh amplifiers refresh amplifiers gets the data from memory and input output controller in uh, memory multiplexer and refresh amplifiers processes the data to the address stack and program counter memory input and output controller process the data to the stack pointer stack pointer process the data to the stack address multiplexer and stack address multiplexer process the data back to the address stack decoder address stack decoder connected to the address stack and program counter it is 8 bit in 8 words into 14 bits and these pro address stack and program counter pro uh, process data back to the memory multiplexer and refresh amplifier it processes the data back to the inter data bus inter data bus processes the data back to the 8 bit data bus where the user gets the output now we are going to discuss about inter 80, 80 multiplexer. It is a 6U, 6 micro units technological size. The clock rate is of 4 mega hazards. It is of 64 kilobytes of memory, that is ROM and RAM. It has 256 input and output portals. Source code compatibility with 8008. Introduction of stack pointer register mainly used in earlier computers MIST ulterior 8800 computer big part of launcher for the personal computers. Now coming to the 8080 architecture here the ad uh, address bus is from A0 to A15. It is connected to the address buffer. Address buffer the data bus or the data buffer consists of D0 to D7 where it is a input data. Input data bus. Input data bus is of 8 bits. It is connected to the instruction register instruction register processes all the instructions to the instructions decoder and machine cycling encoder machine cycling encoder processes the data to the time controlling time controlling consists here the data can be write read and control the write is used for wr and data bus controller is dbin interrupt controller is INT and INTE hold controller hold acknowledgement and it can re uh, rehold the controllers wait controllers to wait the controller pointer and to get the ready controller sync to sync the data clock speed is of phase 1 and phase 2 we can restart the time controlling Time controlling processes the data to the arithmetic and logical unit. Arithmetic and logical unit processes the data to the flip flops. It also processes the data to the accumulator uh, latch. Accumulator latch processes the data to the accumulator. Accumulator processes the data back to the accumulator latch. And accumulator latch processes the data to the ALU. ALU process all the arithmetic and logical operations and process the data to the temporary register. Temporary registers store the uh, data by uh, 
data and it gets back to the 8 data bit. The data is sent back to the 8 bit Intel data bus and Intel data bus sends the data back to the data bus. Intel data bus is, con is con connected to the multiplexer. The multiplexer is of register selector. We can write a temporary and register data. We can multiplexer consists of W, Z, B, C, D, E, H and L stack registers, stack pointer, program pointer and indexed and detectment of address latch and it is connected to the address buffer. Where the address buffer produces the output. Now we are going to discuss about Intel 8088 processor. It is a 16-bit CPU. It is up to 10 mega hazards kilo clock speed, 3 micro units technological size, 1 MB of memory that is of ROM and RAM used in original IBM PCs. First commercially available 16 bits CPU system bus is bi-directionally connected to the L2 CATSIF and controller. L2 CATSIF is bi-directionally connected to the instruction fetch and pre-decoder. It is connected to the left and right side bi-directionally with instruction fetch and pre-decoder. Pre instruction fetch pre-decoder is connected to the instruction queue. Instruction queue is connected to the decoder. Decoder is connected to the rename allocator. Rename allocator is connected to the reorder buffer retirement. Reorder buffer retirement is connected to the scheduler. Scheduler is connected to the FPU, ALU, ALU and load and store. They are connected to the L1 D CATF and D TLB. L1 D CATF and D TLB is bidirectionally connected to the L2 CATF and controller. Here scheduler is connected to the reorder buffer and retirement unit. Decoder, decoder is connected to the RAM and coder. They are connected to the system bus. Now we are going to discuss about Intel Core i3. A very high has come back to the previous configuration of Intel processor 3.7 gigahertz and 2.93 gigahertz core speed they have four processing threads that enables multi-threading unit and multitasking units four megabytes additional catch of memory double channel ddr with one three 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 mega hazards memory sequence 14 nanometers processor Intel HD graphics 630. It will had negative HDCP 2.2 support. Hardware encoder is supported for H264. This is the architecture of Intel i3 processor. Here, LPDDR4, that is 4 into 16 bits, are connected to the small cores and it is connected to the Uncore LCC and it is connected to the graphics, P units, clock, and general 11 display, SVID, TNG, DP14, and IPU5.5, JTAG, Debug, MIPI, CSI2 or DPHY 1.2 these are connected to the big cores
Now we are going to discuss about Intel Core i5. Number of cores are four cores desktop and two cores mobile. A 32 kilobyte instructions and 32 kilobyte data first level cache for each core. 256 kilobyte shade instructions data second level cache for each core. Up to 8 megabytes shared instructions, data third level shared among all the cores, 1.75 billion transistors, speed ranges from 1.9 gigahertz to 3.80 gigahertz, memory type DDR3 600 by 1333, support of turbo boost technology. This is the architecture of Intel iCore processor. iCore Intel core processor is connected to the DDR3 DDR and it is also connected to the PCI expressions. It is connected to the Intel P5 expressive chip. P5 expressive chip is connected to the Fortin high-speed USB 2.0 portal and USB portal disable. It is also connected to the 6 PCI expressive. It is also connected to the Intel integrated 10 by 100 by 1000 by Mac and it is connected to the Intel Gigabyte LAN network. Intel P55 expressive chip is connected to the SPI. SPI is connected to be iOS supportive. Intel P55 expressive chip is connected to the Intel high definition audio and it is also connected to the 6 series AAT portals ESAT and portal disable. It is, it is connected to the Intel matrix storage technology. Intel core processor is connected to the DDR3 8.2. 5G GB. Now we are going to discuss about Intel Core i7. It is of three types quad quadra core processor, 8 MB Intel Smart Catchif, Intel Hyper Threading Technology. Now first we look into quadra core processor provides four complete execution cores in a single processor with 256 kilobytes of L2 CATIF and 8 megabytes of L3 CATIF. User can experience better multitasking and multi-threading performance across many types of applications. Now coming to 8 MB Intel Smart Chip CATIF. This is the largest, latest Last level of CATIF enables dynamic and efficiency allocations for the shade CATIF to all the four cores to match the need of various applications for the ultra efficiency data storage and manipulation. The last one is Intel hyper threading technology. The processor supports Intel hyper threading technology which allows two logical processes create the capability of a computer to perform certain tasks simultaneously. This is a processor of Intel iCore 7. Intel iCore 7 is a family processor that is connected to the DDR3 of three different levels and Intel Core i7 is connected to x58 i o h it is connected to the 2gb dmi it is connected to ich10 and ICH10R. The ICH10 and ICH10R is connected to Intel 
ஹை டெஃபினேஷன் ஆடியோ சிக்ஸ் சீரீஸ் ஏஐடி போர்ட்டல்ஸ் இசாட் போர்ட்டல் டிசேபிள் இட் இஸ் கனெக்டட் டு த இன்டெல் மேட்ரிக் ஸ்டோரேஜ் டெக்னாலஜி மேட்ரிக் ஸ்டோரேஜ் டெக்னாலஜி இஸ் கனெக்டட் டு த இன்டெல் டார்போ மெமரி வித் யூஸர் பின்னிங் ICH10 or ICH10R is connected to LPC LPC is connected to BIOS supportive and it is connected to the Intel Extreme Tuning supporter it is an optional memory space and ICH10 or ICH10R is connected to the 12 high speed usb 2.0 portals dual ech usb portal disable it is connected to the 6 pci expressive and it is connected to the intel integrated 10 100 thousand mac it is bidirectionally connected to g l c i and it is connected to L C I with the Intel Gigabyte LAN connector X 8 I H O is connected up to 36 LANs it is connected to PCI expressive 2.0 graphics support for multi card configuration 1 into 16 2 into 16 4 into 8 or other combinations this is the architecture of Intel Core i7 processor Now we are going to discuss about Intel Core i9 support hyper threading up to 16 MB smart chip 1.400 billion transistors speed range is 4.3 GHz to 4.6 GHz maximum memory space is of 16.83 GB memory type DDR3 1066 by 1333 processor is 14 nano micro double plus improved Intel Turbo Booster technology 3.0 new chipset user socket R4 A2 066 pin LGA increases in cores and threads This is the architecture of Intel i core 9. It consists of 128 NT ITLB 32 KB instruction catcher in eight ways instruction fetch unit 32 bit pre decoder fetch buffer 18 NT instruction query micro code complex decoder simple decoder simple decoder and simple decoder it is connected to the 7 plus entry uop buffer it is connected to the register alia stable and allocator it is connected to the 96 entry reorder buffer it is connected to the 32 bit entry reservative stations it is connected to ALU SSE and SHUME ALU it is connected to ALU it is connected to SSE SHUME MLU ALU branches and SSE ALU 32 entry reservation station is connected to 128 bit FMLU and FAAD 128 bit it is connected to the 32 bit 32 kilobyte dual ported data cable of 8 ways and 16 entry DTLB stack address is connected to the memory ordering buffer store data and loader address is connected to the memory ordering buffer shade bus and interface unit is connected to the shade l2 catch of 16 ways 
and 256 entry L2 DTL LTB it is connected to the retirement registration file retirement registration file is connected to the 96 entry reorder buffer it is connected to 32 entry reservation station and the process is it takes the same processor to reach 32 KB dual portal data catch -up. now we are going to discuss about Intel Core i10 processor memory is of LPD DDR4 X3733 imaging IPU 4P that is 16 MP 4K 30 4 cameras RGB plus IR camera media display audio 444 font supportive for HEVC and VP9 10 bits display EDP 1.4 billion DP 1.4 HDMI 2.0 billion HV HDR linear scale and blend FP16 stunning entertainment build for AI software for the future intellectual performance and intelligent performance fastest flexible and easy connectivity powered system featuring the Intel Iris this is the architecture of Intel i10 Intel i10 code generation is connected to embedded disabled portal of 1.4 GB and LPDDR4 3733 DDR4 300 USB portal 3 of 10 gigabytes USB portal 3 of 5 gigabytes and USB 2.0 cable SATA of 3.0 Intel LAN PHY Intel 495 series chip family on a package of PHC is connected to ESPI SPI assembles HD audio it is also connected to the Intel optimal memory integrated by 5 giga and PCLE 3.0 Intel core 10 generation is connected to integrated USB type C This is the architecture of Intel iCore 10. Now we are going to discuss about Intel Core i11 CPU. 10 nano micro units, super fin technology, CPU up to 3 megabits and LCC core 14 nano micro PCH graphics used are Intel X LP graphic engine up to 96 EU memory used is DDR4 up to 3200 LP DDR4 X up to 4262 imaging enhanced IPU6 24 megapixel WF and 13 megapixel UF media display and audio two VD boxes up to 8K60 decoders and 8k 30 encoders and avi one decoder and scc are used input and output and connectivity integrated wi-fi bt cnvi ac and wi-fi 6 supportive storage intel opt-in h10 memory with the solid state storage that is 4 into PCLE Gen. This is the architecture of Intel i11. It consists of GTI, Global Access, Media Fixed Function, Builder. It is connected to the geometry. It is divided into four sub slices memory, each containing IS and Thread Dispatcher 
and four memory units of EU of both sides that is of eight bits of four different memories. They are con connected to the sample text and SLM data portals and media supplier. Again, it is divided into four sub slices containing IS and thread dispatcher of four different memories. It is divided into again sample and text SLM media sampler and data portals. It is connected to the Razor HIZ depth pixel dispatcher pixel backend that is connected to L3 catch memory. Then this sub slicer is connected to SC connected to SOC ring interconnective and this interconnective is of CPU core and LLC catch slice. It is connected to the system agent. System agent consists of display controller, PCLE and memory controller. This is the architecture of Intel i11 processor. Coming to the conclusion. Now coming to the conclusion, Intel is a company that was invented the first microprocessor and the largest microprocessor manufacturer. The valuation of desktop microprocessor happens once for a few months. The performance is one of the main aspects that improving in microprocessing evolution. The factory of microprocessor evolution are technology, theory, design integrity and user demand and economics and commercial pressures. Even they are high performances of processor, Intel still introduce mid-range of processor because of the user's demand. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.